So you've committed yourself to the yard. 365 days of straight, grueling beard growth with no shaving or major trimming allowed. But you're wondering to yourself, am I allowed to do any slight trimming anywhere? If so, where in the beard am I allowed to do that? And secondly, am I, Kaz the Urban Hazar, going to trim my own beard in my own yard? Both of these questions will be answered in this video, so stay tuned. Hey brothers, it is your shield brother Kaz coming at you once again, founder of the Urban Hazar and the Facebook community Beards, Barbells and Banner. You've come into my halls once again, and I just want to let you know this channel is all about improving your mind and your style at the same time, synchronistically, if you will. So if you want to, you know, grow with me, please press that subscribe button and the notification bell. I would love you for that. Anyway, so I will start with the second question, and that is whether I, Kaz, will be shaving my beard, or sorry, doing a slight trim on my beard around the six to, six to eight, eight month mark. Right, that's been a question coming up quite recently. And actually I put up a poll in my community tab and I was like, should I do it? Should I do a free form yard or should I just let her grow all the way through? But 70% of you said that you would like to see me do a free form yard, not touch it whatsoever, which is kind of what I wanted to do anyway. I just figured I would get, you know, uh, you guys opinion. So then I can kind of, you know, you will get it from there because I, I know some people did say you know they wanted to see a trim because that way it just kind of grows out nicer and um, you know it's kind of nicer to look at and also you know there could be split ends and stuff like that so I, and I will tell you guys if I do kind of start to get split ends if I'm actually seeing like white bulbs on the ends of my hair as my beard gets to like you know the 8 to 12 month mark I might do this like I, my, my barber is very very good at just very very slightly removing some of the tips like there would be pretty much no visual difference it would just be me you know uh making sure to get rid of those split ends so then it grows out properly so what, what like what are my opinions on the kind of whether you should tr trim your beard or, or your yard rather because a lot of people are kind of elitists about this kind of topic they say yeah a true yard is something you do not touch right you don't touch a yard because well it's a year a full year of beard growth it's the manifestation of your true genetic potential to grow a beard for an entire year that's what it's supposed to be it's just this natural you know kind of um earthly thing and it, when it's not touched it's kind of beautiful and the flip side of that coin is the fact that well not a lot of people are able to do, actually do this let's say because of their career Right? For some reason, for one reason or another, they kind of need their beer to be in some kind of order on a day-to-day -day basis because they work in an office or something like that. And perhaps they have a beard policy in their establishment that says, you know, they have to, you know, at least look a little grim and they could probably be written up or whatever if they don't follow those guidelines. But I guess uh, the counter argument to that, the other side of that coin is, well, if you were in that situation, then why, sh why are you doing the yard at all? So I think th those are all good points. Uh, let me kind of give you my summary here. So I think it's really, really important to first assess why you're doing a yard, and then also assess the situation that you are in, right? Let's take a look at my situation first off, right? So, me personally, I'm kind of doing it, well, for a two-pronged reason, let's put it that way. Uh, first off, I kind of want to test the will of my mind, because it's incredibly hard to grow a thing on your face that doesn't listen to you for 12 months. Like, uh, I guess the best analogy would be, like, just hanging out with someone uh, that you kind of have like mixed feelings about sometimes you sometimes you like them and sometimes they annoy the heck out of you and having that person around constantly for 12 months uh, i think that's the best analogy right and uh for for a lot of people that's really really uh it's kind of a test of strength so that's mostly why I'm doing it. And also I want a longer beard. I've never had a beard longer than four and a half ish inches. So I think it'd be really, really cool to have like a six inch beard, right? And if we split those two in half, 
you can kind of assess which side of that, uh, let's call it a spectrum, right? So on one side, you want a long beard, and on the other side of the spectrum, uh, you want the self-improvement, uh, whatever benefits on the other side. So personally, I tend to kind of gravitate towards more the self-improvement side, right? I want to test the will of my mind, and my situation, which I am now assessing, is that I'm documenting it on YouTube. Not a lot of guys are documenting them on YouTube. You should. I really, really think that most that uh, more people should document their years on YouTube uh, because not only do you get to build your legacy, you know, maybe it'll turn into something big, guys. You know, why not, right? Um, but you know, it, it, but but also you kind of get that support throughout your journey. People will be commenting, "Hey, dude, good job," or they'll give you com constructive criticism. It can hurt sometimes, but you got to take it, right? So. I think that's why mo uh, more people should. But if you're not, guys, if you're it, it, like if you're not documenting it on YouTube and you're just over more to the side of the spectrum where you, you just want a longer beard, then probably it, it, mentally you could probably still get a very very slight trim and still be okay with it. Like in your mind, you're like, yeah, I'm still doing a beard. Whereas if you're more to my side of the spectrum, if I got a trim. I think mentally I'd be like, mm, I, I kind of feel like I failed. And also most people in my comment section would be like, yeah, you failed, man. <laughs> like I, I, on a, you know, mechanistic level, I don't actually agree. I don't think that, you know, if you trim your beard on a year, you fail, you, you're done. But in my mind, I would have a hard time getting over that, right? So I kind of want to do this the purest way, right? Um, but uh, I, I know a lot of people just want a bigger beard, and if you, if that's you, you just want a bigger beard, and you've you've been kind of in a stage like I've been in the past where you want a big beard, but then every time you get to like four and a half inches, you just shave it off. But then by setting that big goal of twelve months, you're kind of allow, kind of allowing uh, for like a pretty much inevitable result that by the end of it you will have a long beard and because you're for you're forcing that goal upon yourself and you can't trim it right so by the end of that so long as your mind is there you can pretty much pull, grow the longest beard you possibly can by the end of it you know whatever you get by the end of 12 months uh you can trim that down to whatever style you've your dream style let's put it that way and for a lot of people that might be the easiest way to grow a long beard Whereas some people rather just get little trims along the way. I see no problem with that whatsoever, especially if it's going to keep you adhere to the year. But my my recommendations would be don't uh, don't do more than two trims. I think three is a little much. Um, and make sure you find a barber that's not going to take too much length off, right? Because if you take too much length off, then it, the result might be a nine month beard instead of a twelve month beard. I mean, that's just unfortunate. It kind of defeats the whole purpose, right? Uh, ideally, you know, you wouldn't cut, you know, you, you wouldn't trim anything off the bottom, right? I, I guess you could probably kind of round off the edges just a little bit, right? If, if, I, could tr if I could mentally get over the trimming, that's probably what I would do. I'd get the edges slightly rounded. And then I get some of this cleaned up because watch what happens when I comb it all this way. Right. I'd probably take in all of that like that. Right. So I think the corners you could probably definitely clean clean up if you you know if you just want a long beard that's gonna look good. Uh, you know, don't touch anything here. Don't touch the much. I wouldn't touch the mustache. You can if you want to, but uh, I think that would really really defeat the purpose. Um, yeah, corners and of course clean up everyone that's doing a year should clean up their cheek line and should clean up clean up their neckline uh although i think the the exception is once you get to around three and a half to four inches of beard growth uh well for example i i stopped shaving my neckline as you can see and that kind of gives it a fuller appearance you know, you know, like once it gets to the point where you have to physically lift up your beard to get to your cheek to get to your neckline I think it's fair to say you don't have to trim your neckline anymore and <clears throat> that extra kind of uh, mass is going to allow for the beard to kind of be longer 
and f a pure fuller because it's not going to be look as uh, you know translucent or transparent rather or yeah translucent rather. Um, so yeah, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. Please, uh, press like, share, subscribe, and if you want to document your year, please document it on uh, our group, Beards, Barbells, and Banner. And I uh, hope you have a wonderful night.